All right, guys, today I'm gonna show you how I created a quick fix to some shadow issues that I've been having. So before I get started, though, I real quickly wanted to give a shout out to Imaging USA. I was there this uh, past, let's see, Monday, and I went down to kind of check it out to see what it is. It's my first time as a PP of A member, and I got to go for free. So thank you so much to Imaging USA for that. But I went down, checked it out. Uh, the lab that I use, BWC, featured one of my portraits on their display, which I super, super thank them for. I think that's just totally awesome and, and totally thrilled about that. So anyway, this is the image here, not obviously the coral and the fish and the bride doesn't seem quite like my thing, but uh, this is the image here and then a little bit bigger uh, feature of it there. So that's kind of cool. Again, I really appreciate that. So let's get into today's tutorial, which is a new composite that I've created called Kitchen Chaos. And uh, I'm not exactly sure when this is gonna come out because I won't release it until after the portrait is delivered to the family. Uh, but anyway, so this is the full composite that I created. And I am having a couple of issues with Shadow specifically down here on the foot. Kind of looks like her foot is floating. And then additionally with these dogs here, kind of look like they aren't necessarily placed there in, in the scene. So uh, what I wanna do is I'm gonna create some new shadows and bring it up to this. So you can see now she actually looks like she's grounded in the scene. I haven't fixed the dogs yet, so we'll do that in the tutorial. So let's get into this bad boy and show you what I did here. So let's start off with Lori here and her foot, as you can see, we have a big issue because while I got the shadows, the contact shadows here and all the ambient and lighting shadows uh, really nice, I did miss this. And when you look at the light highlights on her shoes, the light is coming in a direction that is from her uh, top and her right or our scene left. Uh, so we it would cast just a little bit of a shadow here. So. Uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to select our brush, make sure we're on black, 100% opacity, 100% flow. We're just going to come down here and quickly just paint in a nice little uh, shadow there. And then if you go too much, let's say we do that, we can get our erase tool, make sure we're at a 100% opacity and flow. And then we can come down here and just paint out, uh, some erase out, if you will, some of those shadows. And then knock our opacity down to whatever seems like a, a reasonable value. I tend to go too dark on my shadows, so in an effort to not do that, we'll just do about right there. As you can see, that looks a little dark to me, so we're gonna go back to our erase tool, uh, make the opacity around 21%. We're just gonna come in there and just kind of give it one or two quick little brushes, and that brings that down to a really nice tone that's not darker than the actual contact shadow. So there's Lori, that was quick and super easy. Now let's go to the other dogs here, the one here by the, uh, the man's leg here. Uh, obviously you can tell, even when you bring this up close, you can tell we have an issue here that, we don't, that we're missing some shadows. So we're gonna grab our brush tool again, make sure we're at 100% flow, 100% opacity, and just paint in, and I like to go beyond what we should and what is normal and then bring our erase tool into the scene into the picture and do some erasing let's get it up to 100 percent flow here uh erasing there there and then we're going to take it back down to uh, 20 percent whatever uh, flow and then i like to just paint out or just erase out these issues these shadows and then i'm going to bring that opacity down i should have done that before Let's say to there, and then that kind of, not too bad. You bring it up just a little bit, and it's just, you know, this is really just what looks good to you, what makes sense to you, okay? Um, not too bad. I might even add in another layer and just come in here and just give it a quick brush like that, and then knock that down. Like I said, I tend to go dark on my shadows, probably too dark a lot of times. So let's keep it right there and grab my erase tool. And let's go with that. 
better. Okay, let's go to the puppies. This puppy here, <coughs> puppy two, um, clearly some more issues. So we're gonna grab our brush tool once again uh, and just paint out. Okay, and I'm painting into underneath the body where the light would be coming in and casting the shadow. Uh, very simple, and then let's drop our shadow down just a tiny bit here. It's probably pretty good. I'm gonna keep our opacity on the erase tool. So we'll grab our erase tool, keep the opacity low, and then just start painting out some of that and making it really soft. That's pretty good right there. I like that. Dang, that's good. I should be a pro. I should do this for a living. Um, do that, do that, and then probably a little bit there. Race tool, bring it up to 100% because I definitely want to get it off of this here. Good. Now we'll bring it back down to 20%-ish. Drop the opacity of the layer down just a bit. That's not too bad right there. I'm, I'm digging that. Digging it. So we have our um, opacity on our race tool. We don't need to do much erasing. That's pretty good right there. I like it. All right. So you can see how that actually grounds some of these creatures, including Lori here, the mother, into the scene. and makes it really look really, really nice and um, a bit more realistic, a lot more realistic in my opinion. Um, clearly we know that this is a composited piece and we don't have real shadows, but this looks more real. So what I want you guys to do is go out there and try some shadows. Now shadows aren't easy. It's not one of those things where you're just going to do it and just be successful at it. I've been doing this a long time, uh, two years now. I've created a lot of different composites. And as you can see on this, on the most recent one that I created, I'm still having issues or I still have problems with shadows. And so it's one of those things where you just have to continue working, continue practicing, uh, keep looking at your work. If you see something wrong with it, don't just let it go. Don't put it out there into the world like that. Bring it back in, fix the problems and then release it. All right. So, uh, I believe on this composite here, I'm pretty good on all the shadows or might be a couple uh, small issues, but I think they're pretty good right here. So I'm going to go with this. Um, go out, practice it. Let me know if you have any issues with it. If you have any questions on how to create shadows and, and those type of things, definitely you know leave uh, questions in the comments below. Go to the blog post. I'll have that in the show links here. Uh, and check out what I have to say on uh, shadows because there's a lot of different variables to shadows, different types of shadows things that you need to know if you want to create realistic shadows using Photoshop. So go out there, give it a whack, and I'll see you next time on Photillustrator TV.